uh, five Reddit fan theories about One Piece that are crazy and five that might just be true. So, I figure everybody on the internet steals everybody else's content, so why the fuck shouldn't I? <laughs> I used to not like to do that, uh, but fuck it. If anybody even showed up in chat, you could always suggest, like, maybe some people. I know there's people that post on YouTube who have, that. that's all they do is they're, like, crazy theories and theories and shit like this. And I've watched some of them. A lot of them are just stupid, but, like, you never know, I guess. All right, so let's get into that. Okay, so this is the first one. And I'm not, like, reading this, you know, word for word or nothing like that. Okay, the first one we got here is time traveling in order to train. Kaido took Luffy's strongest attacks and didn't waver. Luffy, on the other hand, was knocked down with only one swing from Kaido in his human form. This makes it obvious that Luffy cannot take on Kaido in a one-on-one -on -one fight. These might not be, you know, these might be, like, outdated and stuff, too, so bear with me. Uh... Training. However, going back in time to do so is strange and might change the story quite a lot. Going back in time will give Luffy the chance to save his brother Ace. For instance, nevertheless, the Time Time Fruit does actually exist, which opens a new world of possibilities. Okay. Let's go on that. It's true that when Oda... But didn't he specify... Didn't they specify, or, or am I crazy, like, remember, like, that, like, that they said it only works in one direction, but, of course, we could have, you know, you know, Oda, there'll be some shit that, like, Oda comes up with, and then he'll change it later, so, I mean, I guess it's not out of the realm of possibility, especially since uh, Toki had the time, time fruit, where she could travel through the future, But if she had the, well, I guess it could be a different fruit. I was going to say, well, if her, if her power could have traveled in the past, wouldn't she have traveled in the past to stop Kaido and everything? Um, but yeah. Also, if there was one like that, wouldn't we already know it? Wouldn't. And then I'm thinking, like, if that did exist, would it be Aim? Or Emu, or how you fucking say his name, or her name, or its name. Because wouldn't they have gone back now, knowing what they know, and, like, destroy, like, Dragon, and, and Luffy, and stuff beforehand, or even kill Garp, you know? Or go back and stop Roger earlier on. So, seems like that's not very likely. Now, what if there was, like, a... Uh, they could do like a Dragon Ball Z hyperbolic time chamber thing. I, I I would see Oda, especially since Oda's a fan of Dragon Ball, I would see him doing something like that. Because you know you got like the, what was it, Mero, Nero, Nero Beam, or whatever the one Foxy had, where he could slow down time. What if there was something like that he could use that somehow, and maybe incorporate it with something else? I mean, I guess it's not impossible. Plus, you also got to think of Vegapunk's around now. So, if there's anything like that, it could come out now, and they could, Frankie could build it on the, uh, on the Sunny, where they could use it, but that would be crazy. But it's also crazy to think, like, Luffy and them, you know, they haven't even been together that long. Yeah, you had the two-year time skip, and yeah, Luffy trained all his life before all this. But, like, he just, they kind of get the power-ups pretty quick. Like, look, what he, gear, what he gets second and third kind of happened overnight, you know? So, Oda doesn't really have a problem with them having to train or nothing like that. You also got to think about it. Roger, when he started the first time, then he had to start over, you know? Because that's back when he went and got Crocus at the beginning and went through everything. So, Luffy's definitely done it more linear, linearly than uh, a lot of other people so but you know it is a story so the chances of this one being true i'll say less than 20 percent this ever happening 
Shanks is a Celestial Dragon. This is kind of new, and I think it has... I, I wanted to say, some people were saying it was confirmed, but I don't know. One of the mysteries that recently emerged is the meeting between in Shanks and the Gursai. Very strange. And it also adds credence to, you know, because remember Doflamingo kind of got away with a little more shit than even a regular um, Shibakai did. So we find out he was Celestial Dragon. So Shanks being one wouldn't be impossible, you know? And we do know that they aren't always ex all exactly like the ones we've seen. Because you got like Doflamingo's parents or were, you know, they decided to go and live normal lives and they weren't just complete dipshits. Then there's the one, Otohimi, uh, the one that Otohimi saved, he has changed now. <coughs> so him being that, oh, they're actually saying this, I was reading, I wasn't even reading that, that's what I came up with. Uh, no one can prove this because this is Shanks, one of the important pillars. Yeah. There was something like the name to Figureland, and then there was a new movie. So this one has more credence. Um, I'll take this one over Shanks is the bad guy, because that's going to be like, if if uh, Oda did this the whole time, that's going to be a crazy-ass twist. And it'll kinda, I think it would piss me off, personally, but I don't know. If Oda did it right, it could still be good, so I don't fucking know. Um... What else? So the chances of this one being true are a lot higher. This one could be like 80, 85%. Maybe not 80. Well, yeah, we'll go with 80%. Okay. Okay, here. I haven't heard this one, I don't think. Emu is Luffy's mom. Is the most important character revealed in the Reverie arc with the five Gurusai bowing. Emu appeared in a gloomy and unclear appearance. When everybody thought that the Gurusai are the highest authority in the world government, Oda proved them wrong. Uh... That would be kind of crazy, though, if, uh, you know, his mom was the head of the world government, his dad is the head of the revolutionaries. That would be crazy. But I don't know. There's a lot. That's just like a lot of crazy speculation. That's like up there with crocodiles, Luffy's mom, some shit like that. Um, is it possible? I guess Oda could do it. I don't think it would be good. I, I think it would be stupid. I don't think it would be a good idea. I don't get it. I don't get it. It wouldn't make no. I mean, I guess it would be a little. I would just rather him be like some mysterious figure that has some other kind of backstory besides being Luffy's mom. I don't think they need it anyway. Like, are they like, I know there's like, this person had the mortality surgery, and they are from the ancient times and stuff like that. Those theories, to me, make more sense than this theory. So, I'd say the chances of this one are, I don't know, 10%. Maybe, probably less. 8%. 8% on this theory being true. You know, feel free to let me know what you think. Or don't. Oh. Okay, the next one. One of the straw hats is actually a secret agent from CP0. Man, Oda's done some weird shit lately, but I don't I don't think he would do that. That would be so I think if Oda was gonna do that, he would have done that sooner. Because, like, if that shit happened now, man, people would riot, right? Like, everybody, and he's already kind of done, like, some shit like that. You gotta think, you, you go back to, like, Usopp fighting Luffy, leaving the crew. And then you got, like, Sanji, what he did recently. Nico Robin, even. He's kind of already toyed with some shit like this. Now... He could maybe pull it with somebody else, like maybe somebody close to Straw Hat, like what if Bartholomeo was, or you know, somebody else in the Grand Fleet, you know, but like an actual one of the core members that's an official member, you know, like you know, Zoro, Nami, Roger, I mean, Roger, what the fuck, Zoro, Nami, Sanji, Chopper, Brooke, Frankie, Jimbei. I don't see none of them, and even if they get anybody else. 
<clears throat> I don't see that happening. I could see somebody who Luffy might be close to more likely than one of them, because I don't, I don't think Oda's going to fuck with that. Like, and if he was, he would have done it sooner. Because he's, like you said, he's already kind of done it, like, you know, people being the spy or whatever. Like, I know, okay, they're bringing up Kanjiro, which is kind of crazy, because that dude did go hardcore in his, like, spy efforts. Truth is, the crew's strong Strahd's connection has entered a boat territory. Therefore, even if there is a spy, they can never turn against Straw Hats unless Oda decides otherwise, of course. I don't know. Well, and if they didn't, then we'll never know. So this theory is like unprovable. I guess this is one of those crazy theories where you could be like, I'm right forever because it was never disproved, you know? But like, you got like all these catch 22s and shit. So I don't. Now, this one is like negative 1% chance of happening. I don't see that happening. If that one happens, I don't know what. Like, we might as well fucking call off One Piece if, if he does that one of the straw hats is a secret CP0 agent. I guess we know this one's basically disproved, unless you want to count, like, I don't know, like, are some of the beast pirates going to work for, like, Mama, Mama, Mama or something? Because what happened to all them? Like, I guess Tama had taken on some of the ones she fed the Dango to. Now, I guess they could, they're, they're saying, like, oh, he, after the Dress Rosa, but, like, they could still, because, I mean, we still know they're going to be kind of part of it, but Luffy's not going to count them. Definitely not the big mom pirates. Like, no. I don't know. I don't see any of that happening. Would, could some of them work with them again? Surely, yeah. Definitely some of the big... More of the big mom pirate people, I would say, have a better chance of working with Straw Hat down the road than the Beast Pirates. Because, like, you know, he kind of made connections with Katakuri... And then there's, uh, what's her name? Uh, the one that Sanji was supposed to marry. But you know what I'm saying? Here's my crazy theory. So Blackbeard has, I can't think of her fucking name. What is her name? Uh, you know, the girl with the third eye. I can't think of her damn name. Whatever. But like, so this could be like how Sanji and her really, really get together eventually. You know what I'm saying? Like they rescue him at the end of One Piece when they fight Blackbeard. You know what I'm saying? I can definitely see some of them allying up, allying up with Luffy and them, like, for the Great War that'll come after or at the end. You know what I'm saying? Like, Katakuri, if he's running, like, the Big Mom Pirates or changes the name or something like that. I can see that. Kind of like how they work together, like, 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 Kid and them work together with him and Law and stuff like that. Probably not on the same... Not on, like, the same strength as, like, the Scabbards or, like, you know, Kinemon and Momo did. But, like, some of the other ones I could see. And then, of course, unless you're talking about, like, um, what's her fucking name? Kaido's kid, I guess. Odin is what he, she, I don't know. I don't really care. Okay. Five. Well, we know this one. We know this one's been proven. So the likelihood of that, I would say, like, zero, because it hadn't happened. You know, I guess there's 1% it could happen, but I don't see it. Uh, forging new forms of benefit. Luffy. What we know, I don't know if you can say, like, he can, but he hasn't. But I guess he has, because he's... Fifth gear was the Nika, you know, sun god, you know, what he's doing now. Okay, so we know that one is true. I was like 100% basically. Uh, Katakuri will join the Straw Hat crew.
this is like this this is what this part I believe could happen. He could be a valuable ally. Because I could definitely see him choosing Luffy's side over somebody else's side. Like Blackbeard or anybody like that or anything else that comes out. <clears throat> you know, kind of like, you know, like he could be, because he's pretty powerful and everybody liked him. Kind of like Marco, like kind of came back and helped out Luffy with other shit. Even though he's not even really that associated. So I could see that, but like, I don't see Katakuri ever joining. Even like, it's like Law would never join either, you know. Usopp will become stronger than Sanji and Zoro. No. That's never going to happen. That's like a negative 10. Negative 10. Negative 10. That's like the worst one. Like, there's no fucking way. Like, he, he would like... They would, he would have to figure something out. Like, he could be stronger. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he could be stronger than what he is. I can go with all that, but unless there's some something crazy happens, there's no definitely no way he'd be stronger than Zoro. Because because I mean Zoro like Sanji's gold ain't, ain't necessarily to be strong, but Zoro is always trying to get stronger. He's kinda like Luffy like that. So there's no way that Usopp could catch up to him. It's kinda like people think that uh Kobe could be as strong as Luffy. I just don't see that ever happening unless something really crazy changes. Even the, like if he ate some other kind of fruit that was kind of like Luffy's, another like God-powered fruit or some shit. But I don't see that happening. There's no way. So Usopp being stronger than Sanji and Zoro is like negative 10. No way. I don't even think he'll ever be as strong as Sanji, but surely not Zoro. Yeah, he could have a good observation hockey, but I still don't think it's gonna be that good that it's gonna it would be stronger than Zoro. Wow, this one's crazy. Ace will be resurrected using Trafalgar Laws Devil Fruit. Could he bring him back in some sort of weird way? I don't doubt that. Like, but not like Ace himself. Like, I, maybe somebody like mimics him or something to try to mess with Luffy. Because we know Katarina Devon has that power, you know, like where she can mimic people. Or there could always be another kind of fruit or something. I'm not even talking about Mr. One or um, Bon Clay. I mean, Mr. Two, Bon Clay. So, yeah. And if he did bring him back. Why would Law do that just to bring Ace back? Like, it might have been one thing, like, because there was a theory that Luffy was going to be dying and Law saved him. I get, I could have seen that happening, but, like, somebody that's already been dead for two plus years, unless, unless it's like they use the shadow kind of fruit, you know, I could see that. If Moria, drank, if Moria joined the Blackbeard Pirates or they got his shadow fruit and gave it to somebody. I could see them trying to get Whitebeard's body and Ace's body and try to bring them back. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like uh, what Moria was doing. I could see that, but like Ace is never coming back to life. I could see that happening because that would definitely be something that would push Luffy over the fucking edge. You know what I'm saying? But like he's not going to get resurrected. If, but how many people, if Oda is only killed like a handful of people... And only, like, really two major characters in the actual storyline. Like, I know there's some other ones that are probably dead. But, fuck, nothing comes past me after Pell didn't die. But he's not going to bring him back. If he does, that'll just wipe out half of the shit. <clears throat> maybe at the end of One Piece, like, the thing can bring people back from the dead. Maybe Luffy would use that power. That's possible, but if it ever happened, it, it can't happen until like the very, 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 very end. So this the, the, the this theory to me is like a zero, maybe like a 0.1% chance. They basically said the same shit I said. Luffy will meet Roger on the moon. 
there's a lot of moon theories. I think I've seen something when I was skimming. I didn't read them, but like I seen like because I was looking at pages. Uh, and now go right. There is. I did see something where somebody said Roger might not really be dead or something. I don't know. I mean, I guess something like that, like a message or a holograph or. But I don't expect Roger to be alive. I think that would also kind of cheapen everything. It could be a message or a flashback explaining everything. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure we'll get like a flashback at some point. Like when Luffy reaches one piece, Odo will probably flashback to Roger doing it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe intersperse him. That would make sense. But he's not going to go find... He's not going to go fine. So, like, most of the, like, about out of these, ten, that one's, like, a 5% chance. Like, a real, real Roger still being alive. Like, a hologram or something, okay, that's higher up. But, like, that, this one, no, no chance. This one, no chance. This one, no chance. This one already happened, so there's one. This one is most likely no chance. This one is definitely no chance. This one's... Very, 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 very slim being a chance. This one's actually got a fairly good chance. This one's actually not a good chance. Not like for training or not like they're saying it. Not when he actually really goes back in time. And if he does, maybe it's only like they could go back. Like, I don't know if anybody watched Game of Thrones, but you know, like... Well, though, they did kind of hint that he did change something, but he wasn't really there... Because when Bram was back with the Three-Eyed Raven and he was kind of looking back on the past, I could see something like that. That's a possibility. Like Even something at, at the, when they get to Laugh Tale where it's like, you know, they have a machine where they can look back on time or something or recordings or some shit. Who fuck knows? Uh, they can teleport and there's like fusion reactors and all. there's all kinds of shit now in One Piece. So that's not impossible. That... But, like, him actually literally traveling and, like, going back to his train or save Ace or something. I don't see it. So, out of the ten, there's two. One which is true, which, of course, made sense. Like, we kind of knew Luffy was probably going to have another one. Um, I don't know. Can Luffy go even past Gear 5? So, what well, I know most cars, like, what's that? Like, a six-speed is kind of like, I think that's the one, like, I don't think there's any other, like, you're going to have 4-speed or 6-speed. So, like, I don't know if Odo will go past that. So, maybe there will be a Gear 6 someday. That wouldn't be, that. but to guess there would be a Gear 5 is also not crazy either, especially the way they explained it in this, too, because Kaido whipped his ass pretty easy. So, yeah, so that's that. So, like, two out of these ten are, like, possible. Well, one's for sure. The other one's kind of... And then all the rest of them are just crazy bullshit that's never going to fucking happen.